Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel VBA video, we are going to see uh, that uh, about another control in uh, user forms and that control is known as a checkbox control. So let's see. Uh, in the toolbox, you have the checkbox control available just below or just beside your uh, option button control. So first of all, um, let us understand that what is the difference between the radio button and a checkbox. So as we already know that using a radio button, we can select either one of the two options. That is uh, in the true false questions, uh, we were able to select either true as a answer or either false as an answer, but we were not able to select both. So uh, that is something that checkbox provides us that is using the checkbox we can select more than one option so that is the advantage of checkbox that is if you want to use a multiple select option then you can uh, easily use a checkbox that is through which you can select multiple options at once so let us understand its usage it is very simple and uh, very similar to uh, the radio button in functioning okay so it would be easy for you all to understand it First of all, let us go to the insert tab and insert a new module in our VBA editor. In case you are wondering how to bring up this VBA editor. So you have to go to your Excel sheet, uh, go to the developer tab and uh, click on this visual basic and your visual basic for application. So the VBA editor would be up and running. Also, you can use a shortcut in Excel that is Alt F11 to bring up your VBA. Now, once you have added the form, let's just rename it as FRM4. And let's just change its caption uh, to say checkboxes. So basically this uh, form is going to help us to um, accommodate the checkboxes. Okay. So the question I'm going to ask in this form from the user is um, what sports do they like to play in their leisure time? So this could be multiple options available and I'm going to give two, three options along with an option called others from where they can select multiple options. And then I'm going to display the result in the form of a label. So uh, let's just see. First of all, let us add a label. This is a label. This is going to contain the question and then I'm going to give them four options. One. Let's just add four checkboxes. There is another way through which you can add a checkbox control or any other control basically in a user form. You can just click on it, press control C to copy it. And then when the focus is on the form, you can just press control V to paste it. Then what would happen is if you just see this is checkbox 2, its caption is checkbox 2. It is identified by a name as checkbox 2. This was copied and the copied or the pasted thing is having the name as checkbox 3 which means it is having its own unique existence but its caption is checkbox 2 so the caption could be changed anytime you want but it has got a unique existence so that's another way through which you can actually uh, submit or apply controls over a form by copying and pasting it okay so that's simple like this then uh, i'm going to add a command button which is going to have submit as a value and whatever the value user selects, whatever it could be a more than one value, it would be displayed in a label form over here. So let's just work with them. Let's just change the caption of label one is uh, in the form of a question that which sports you like to play in your leisure time. And let's frame it in the form of question. So that's what we have got. Uh, let's change the checkbox one as um, say chess. Checkbox two as say basketball. Checkbox three as say cricket. And checkbox four as football. Okay, so these are the four options we've got and let's just change the command button as submit 
or you can add an others option also that if uh, if the user does not play any four of these then the user can select on uh, others option but i'm not going to add it because the functionality is going to be similar no matter what on the submit i want to check that uh whose ever's value of uh, all these check boxes is true like in the radio button we used to check that if the value is true we need to display the result so here we are going to check that if the value is true then we want to display the result because the value property exists here also and uh, it is true if the box is checked now in the label tool let's just clear up this caption to nothing so that uh, in the starting we are not able to see anything and let's just increase its font size so we are able to see it in a more clearer fashion uh, 12 bold is what i selected and the font face i've kept the same that is tahoma now let's just add an event so just double click over here and the command button event would be added so let's just uh, use the if conditions and uh, one more thing the shortcut for the checkboxes is chkbox checkbox and then one so if you want to use the shortcut then it's perfectly good otherwise you can just use the uh, whole names if checkbox one dot value equals true so first of all i want to check the value for checkbox one that is if the value is true then what i want is in label two's value so label two equals whatever the value of label 2 was previously i want to add the value uh, or the caption of checkbox 1 because it is possible that the user selects multiple options or the multiple checkboxes so in that case i want all of them to be visible with the comma separated values so whatever it is i want um, uh, it to be displayed with the uh, checkbox one dot caption since this is the first condition so i'm not going to uh, use that comma thing otherwise we need to use this so else if checkbox two dot value equals true then what i want is label two equals label two plus checkbox two dot caption so this is something that is going to be common for all so let's just copy this whole else if part and just paste it two times one for checkbox three and one for checkbox four and then finally let us just end this if okay so this is the code and let's just make some changes here we want checkbox three checkbox three and here we want for checkbox four and checkbox four so that's what uh, we are going to do and let's just run it so which sports you would like to play in your leisure time i want chess and cricket and i click on submit i get chess as the option but i'm not going to get cricket because i don't know why so let's see what happens here actually uh, the reason why we are getting this is we have used this else condition so we need to use if conditions only that if this condition is true then we want this we don't want to use the else condition because only one condition is selected true in this case and when only one condition is selected true then uh, none of the other conditions are actually uh, executed okay so let's just paste end if and end if now if we just run this piece of code then what happens is chess and cricket i click on submit chess and cricket is what i get if i select on basketball as well i get chess cricket basketball everything if i click on everything like football i get everything okay so that's how the checkboxes work um and um, that is a simple way through with the uh, through which the checkboxes work in the next video we are going to learn about the list box and we are going to see uh, how can we connect the list boxes through the data that is available in our excel sheet up till now we were uh, using these check boxes and we were displaying data from the uh, in the form of the labels or we were accepting data in a hard code fashion that is we were adding the code for all the data so in the next video what we are going to see is um, 
how can we actually retrieve the data from the excel sheets and apart from this we are also going to see that uh, how can we actually display the data whatever the selection we have in an excel sheet so that is all for today's video that is all for the checkboxes thanks for watching